All right, welcome back. This is Dr. Geohu. Welcome to this short ramble. Uh, so short rambles are just going to be exactly that, short ramblings. Uh, this one's about the uh, leaked photos uh, that have come out um, with regards to Dr. Who. So in case you didn't know, and you live under a rock, uh, a few weeks prior to Comic-Con, or about a week, I don't remember, it's all wibbly-wobbly, uh, photos surfaced that showed the new Sonic screwdriver, and uh, obviously it was a shot with uh, Jodie Whittaker as the doctor and uh, wearing some kind of welding goggles and looking at the Sonic screwdriver. Not only that, but there was about 55 seconds of leaked footage from what many believe to be the first episode. Well, it's got to be the first episode. Now, I did not see the leaked footage. I did, okay, I'll admit, I did see some of the photos that were leaked. Now, the only one I talk about is just the, the one with the Sonic screwdriver because that's the one that I think was more damaging. The other one, I, I, I think there was another one that also was leaked, and I can't remember it too much, but I just remember the footage and the one of the Sonic. Now, that was, I think, the big one because usually the Sonic is, is a big reveal, and obviously, I, I don't know if the BBC were ready to actually show everybody the Sonic at Comic-Con. I have a feeling they did because they were selling the new Sonic screwdriver uh, at Comic-Con. So I don't think that was too much of a spoiler. And I'm glad because, you know, um, which makes you think, did they intentionally leak that photo to get everybody's appetite, you know, kind of wet a little bit, you know? So that when Comic-Con hit, everyone was like, oh, that's the Sonic that was leaked, the picture. The footage I did not see, but my partner in crime, uh, Geeky Guy DJ, did see the footage. And the funny thing is that when it was announced that Jody would be the new Doctor, he was a little bit hesitant about it. And even when she appeared in the uh, Christmas special, Twice Upon a Time, he was still a little bit you know, well, I don't know if I'm going to like her too much, blah, blah, blah. But he told me that after he saw those 55 seconds that he thinks he is going to like her now. Um, so uh, we'll see. But then, of course, now new photos have uh, surfaced within the last few days. And this time, uh, unfortunately, it's not really a leak per se, more of a photographer who put those photos on his personal site uh, and they were taken and unfortunately shared uh, throughout all of social media, um, the entire social media universe. And uh, so I, I did see them. They uh, were not spoilers. I, I don't think they were spoiler images. They were just photos that were probably promo fi uh, pictures that we're going to see anyways. So I wasn't really affected by them. The one that I think might be the big one would be the one of the doctor uh, – what seems like walking inside the TARDIS. And uh, unfortunately, like I said, it's very hard once these photos get online to not see them. And as much as I try not to look at spoilers, I have not seen the footage, just to say, because I'm, I'm, I'm really waiting for the big moment when it airs, hopefully in October. So I did not see the footage. And I want to wait, but the picture of the interior of the TARDIS, not the interior of the TARDIS, and, and I'm not spoiling anything, so if you haven't seen the photo, it's not a big deal, it's just a backdrop or one of the back walls um, in the entryway of the TARDIS, and it, like I said, it's hard, especially if you're on social media a lot, you're going to see it, it's going to come out, um, like I said in an earlier uh, podcast, there are people who are not fans of Jodie Whittaker nor the move that the BBC have made with a female doctor. And their goal is to, honestly, they just want to keep spoiling it for everyone. So anytime they get their hands on any picture, they are going to post it. So if you see somewhere that it says, you know, spoiler, you know, these images have been leaked, someone's going to put it on there. Now, apparently all the photos were taken down from various sites like Twitter uh, some Facebook. I know a few videos have been taken down as well because the BBC is out, uh, um, pretty much out with a vengeance to make sure that these photos do not make it out onto social media. But um, I gotta say, they weren't um, they weren't bad. Uh, they were again promo pictures. I don't know what's going on in any of them. If anything, they're making me a lot more excited to see what this new 
I want to call them the TARDIS gang or like a Scooby gang because that's what they look like. They look really cool together. I think they're all going to work very well. Uh, the only one, again, that's not... I It is kind of a spoilerish, but, you know, because whenever a new TARDIS appears, there's that one big moment, right, where you see the, you know, it's like the doors open and you go in. Uh, that's kind of the same moment that Bill had in the episode, The Pilot, Series 10, where the camera pulls back and, wow, you see this amazing ship. So I think that they're definitely wanting to keep the TARDIS under wraps until the episode airs. So you see, oh, okay. Wow, this is, looks amazing. Uh, there's another photo that also was leaked from the, the same photographer, which shows the actors' uh, sitting chairs. So, you know, like the director chairs where they sit um, to chill out, I guess, whatever, between takes. And uh, there's one where the four chairs are laid out. You see Jody, you know, all the different names of the different actors. And then the TARDIS set just a little ways away. So it's not, a, again, I'm not spoiling anything because I can't see unless I zoom in, but there are those who have zoomed in and I'm trying to avoid because I don't want to know what the inside of the TARDIS looks like just yet. I want to see it in all its wondrous splendor, right, when um, the episode airs. Um, so I don't know. I'm not even going to comment about what I've read by mistake. A few, uh, or just people commenting on what they think the interior of the TARDIS is going to look like. Um, but needless to say, I think that looking at the sonic screwdriver, you know that, that this TARDIS is definitely going to be a little different than anything else. Um, how the sonic screwdriver comes about, we don't know. I don't know if it has anything, anything to do with the TARDIS, but uh, we will um, we'll see. So that's just my ramblings for my short ramblings for today with regards to the spoilers of the sonic screwdriver and the TARDIS. So hey. Uh, you know, just make sure that when you're on social media, be careful if you're part of any Doctor Who group. Be careful because uh, even a friend of mine, uh, he didn't know. Uh, unfortunately, the photos, I guess, surfaced the day before the new Doctor Who magazine came out. So some people thought that maybe these were photos that were already in the magazine. And so they went out like a wildfire. I mean, everybody was posting them. And I've told a few people, listen, take those down because I don't think those are supposed to be out right now, especially the one of her, you know, what looks to be her entering the TARDIS. So, um, but no one listens to me and they're still out there. So, uh, all right. So uh, comment and uh, share this uh, little short ramblings and uh, we got more to come. So stay tuned.